Yo, what's up guys, Guido here, back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install slash replace your spark plug coil right here. Now, I got this one from TomsPerformance.com, I'll leave a link to this actual spark plug right here, and his website, super cool dude, and he makes custom spark plug coils that are literally just like this. Now, what they basically are are just the MSD spark plug coils, now what they do is they're more performance oriented, so they will uh, give you a hotter spark spark which will make your mini bike run a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient um, but what he does is he actually gives a custom wire so this is just the standard MSD red one um, but there's like green blue all the colors of the rainbow um, and he custom makes them you can even get ones with like the cloth lining on it which looks super sweet um, so I make go and check him out it's pretty slick um, I'll make sure to leave the link in the description um, and basically this is the one I opted for is just the regular standard MSD uh, red one which is just the regular MSD coil and everything um, but basically this video is gonna work for you guys to install one of these coils or replace it it's gonna be the exact same process and yeah let's go ahead and get into the video it's super easy okay so as you can see here's my mini bike now what you have to do next is you actually have to take this side cover off now it's super easy there are four bolts there's one right there one right there one under there and then also one on that side um, and how to remove them is you can use a socket, wrench, whatever. I like to use this impact gun um, because it's just super easy just to take them all off just like that. And I'm actually using a 5 16 socket on there to go and take all these off. And then I have the extension on there so I can, you know, get down in there because it's not the way the drill is. It's too, it's not going to fit. So that's why I have the, the extension on there. And that's how you go and actually remove all of those four bolts. Okay, so as you can see, once you go and take off those uh, four little bolts right here, the side cover will just come and just slide out. When you're taking it off, make sure you kind of go and bend it down a little bit and then pick it up and take it off because your little throttle assembly is right there and you wouldn't want to go and like mess that up. And also, if you guys are wondering why uh, this is kind of rusty, it's not because this thing gets stored outside. It's because I just, when I wash this thing, you know, water kind of gets down in there and then you can't really um, go and actually like, you know, wipe it up unless you take the side cover off. But don't worry because it's just surface rust and also the actual striking part is just right there. So it's all good. Um, so now the next thing you actually have to go and do is just pop up pop off your little spark plug um, top right here and then just kind of just leave that to the side for now then what you have to go and do is you have to undo your little spark plug coil um, right there so now when you're doing this make sure look at the gap as you can see that is barely a gap it is super close to there um, and what you're actually gonna need is you're gonna need a fueler gauge once you go and install the new one on there to actually go and measure the distance in between there so it's not too far and then it's also not too close Okay, so as you can see, I got the two bolts out of the actual coil right there. Now, this is a little bit harder, or I wouldn't say harder, but a little bit more time-consuming than I intended it on being. I thought it would kind of just come out and done deal, um, but... I'm going to have to take off either this whole throttle assembly right here, but that's not going to work because um, I was thinking I was just going to take off the whole throttle assembly or just the carburetor to get this wire out because as you can see, this thing is too big to slide in between there. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to take the throttle assembly off, but I can't do that because as you can see, then I do, then if I do that, I have to take the fuel line and all that stuff off. And then also it's kind of like blocked right there. So what I'm going to do is just take the whole carb off and then just kind of slide it out so then I can untuck this actual like wire from there and then this should be free and then I'll go over to disconnecting that for the kill switch. Okay, so the people that obviously have like a different carburetor like a Makuni or like anything else where it just will slide out, you can go ahead and just skip ahead a little bit. Um, but for the people that are have just like the stock air filter, like if it's just the stock air filter housing or if it's the stage one kit um, style like I have with like the mount, the actual adapter and then the air filter, what you do is you just use a screwdriver to get your air filter off and then you have to go and take off two, these two little nuts right here and then the actual adapter piece will come off and then all this will kind of just slide out. Okay, so as you can see, a bunch of stuff is off, so I finally got the coil completely removed. As you can see, I finally slid it out. Now, I'm kind of confused with this, um, of why it does this, because it looks like it actually comes apart here, but it doesn't. What this is, is it's just like some sort of like, 
I don't know, heat protector or something. It looks like it's some sort of actual like connector, but it's not. I've tugged and tugged and it doesn't come off. So when you install one of these performance racing um, coils, what it actually does is it eliminates the kill switch on the side of the motor. So that's kind of cool. I mean, if that's what you're using to kill the motor, that's probably not good. But if you have one that's up there, um, it just you know it doesn't it's not really needed it's just kind of there so using this it actually eliminates you using that at least that's what I've can what I can see so far um, but once I install it we'll see actually how that uh how it actually is but as you can see I have the whole actual like adapter off of this so this whole thing is free as you can see right there um, and what I did basically is just I left it all intact and just went and just slid this out like that and then it goes and will flip out from underneath there and then you can get it out from there um, but I took the gas tank off just so there was more room right there where I could see and yeah that's about it and then I took the exhaust pipe off because to take the gas tank off there's a little stubborn bolt right there um, and it's just way easier to just you know take the exhaust off so it's there's more room okay so here are the spark plugs this is the stock one obviously that I pulled out of my mini bike now as you can see once this thing the actual like spark plug uh, kill switch coil line goes down here as you can see it has a little plug and then I already cut this off to put it back on my mini bike so there's not a hole in the flywheel cover um, but right here there was the kill switch the on and off kill switch and then there was a little ground wire that would come out that would bolt into your side cover so I cut the, that off and put that back on my mini bike because on the flywheel cover um, once you actually go and take out the kill switch there's a hole so I just put the kill switch in there and just filled that hole up so it wouldn't look so ugly um, and it doesn't work obviously because I cut the lines and wires and stuff off of it but I just did it so there's not a hole anyways um, basically with the new one as you can see there's no nothing it's just it plugs into your mini bike so if you already have a kill switch on your mini bike this will just plug straight into the actual kill switch um, like wire it just snaps in and then boom you're done and then the mini bike you can kill it and everything's all good but if you don't already have a kill switch on your mini bike and the only way to kill your mini bike is by the little switch that was in there what you're going to have to do is it's going to require some work so with this what you're going to have to do is save your actual original um, kill switch wire so what you would do is you would just cut this off right here and then you would just have to wire in your kill switch um, and then obviously your ground lead onto this wire right here so then um, this would just go up to the actual kill switch and then kill it that way so doing it this way it's a little harder I recommend just getting a kill switch because it's easier on your handlebar just to hit it rather than bending down and actually turning it off um, but if you have a kill switch on your motor it's gonna require a little bit more work but it's pretty easy like I said you just cut it off and then you just wire um, this the, the actual kill switch part to this and then it will just plug in so then you can still kill it with the stock kill switch okay so everything is basically done I just jumped through it I didn't really feel like recording any of it because it's just it's kinda of boring for me to record it I'd rather just do the work and have a fun time and also it's kinda of boring for you guys to just watch it um so basically what I did is I had the air filter off and I undid the two bolts or sorry the nuts that hold on the carburetor so once you do that the carburetor adapter that's underneath this air filter that will slide off with the gasket that's on there then what you have to do is right here depending on what your fuel line is I have a little hose clamp but you might just have like a little clamp that you press in and then you can slide it up anyways you gotta take your fuel line off and then once you undo your little clamp whatever you have um, it just will pop out out of that little notch that it's in and then this will just slide forward just a little bit and that amount of movement that it slides forward you can get your actual spark plug wire out and then since you unbolted it from the actual the coil mount um, it just will slide out super easily and then underneath the gas tank right there as you can see there is like a little clip that kind of holds it in so you just have to undo that and then just disconnect it from your mini bike right there and then your old coil will just slip out and then you're basically pretty much done with getting the old coil out and it's just the reverse so then what you have to do once you get the old coil out you just install your new coil by just putting in the two bolts that I showed earlier in the video when you take out the old coil you just put those two bolts back in um, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I didn't use a feeler gauge now don't do uh, what I did I recommend you guys look up the distance between like the coil and the flywheel on the mini bike but I didn't do that I just eyeballed it with like 
how close it was before with the stock coil and the new coil and I eyeballed it and I got it perfect because it start right it starts right up and then it runs good so I just kind of eyeballed it and it seems like it's good but I recommend you guys get a feeler gauge set and also just look up the measurements and then just put it of like get the the correct size feeler gauge and stick it in there and then until it's like perfect and there's a little bit of resistance so you can know the actual gap that needs to be in there but like I said I didn't do that I just eyeballed it and it worked perfectly for me so what I recommend if you're gonna do what I did just take a picture of the stock coil on there first and then um, just when you're putting the new coil on there just go and look at the gap between the coil and the flywheel in the picture and then just recreate that but once you do that um then what you have to do is once your coil is all installed and everything you have to run that kill switch wire that I was talking about underneath the gas tank now I already put everything together like I said and underneath the gas tank there's two there's like four little posts that are sticking up underneath of it and what you do is you just tuck that wire in between there and then as you see it just comes out and then it just goes and plugs straight into your factory kill switch wire which goes up right there but like I was also saying too is if you have a kill switch as you can see like what I did I just went and cut the two wires off just so it plugs that hole so that it doesn't so the holes not open so like loose clothing won't get sucked in there um but as you see it, it doesn't do anything I just I cut the wires off of it just so it plugs the hole like I said but um if you still want to use this you're gonna have to actually go and make some sort of like connector like I was talking about where you just go and cut this off and then just put the stock kill switch leads onto it and then the actual ground lead will just go and connect underneath the flywheel cover right there. Then once basically all of that is done, um, it's pretty dang simple for the rest. You just go bolt your carburetor back up, put your fuel line back on and just kind of reassemble everything. And then now what you have to do after bolting everything back up and putting the gas tank on and everything, then what you have to do is route your your um, spark plug coil wire so if you have a Makuni or like I said any other carburetor that's not like this one you can just route it kinda like how I did how I just went and just routed it straight from the actual um you know the coil and just routed it around now the stock spark plug actually comes out a little bit it comes out to here and when the, the wire actually goes and gets routed behind the carburetor right there and that little notch right there but this wire the way it's made is a little too short and the angle is like a 90 degree angle and it's shorter so you kind of have to round route it like this how I did it um which don't get me wrong I think it looks cooler routed that way because it's got like the red parts on it the red um the wires and stuff so I think it looks cooler that way but if you have this type of carburetor and motor and stuff you're gonna have to do it that way unless you do a different route because the wire won't fit into the little clip that was underneath there like it does when it's stock but also the other reason why the spark plug coil actually fits in there is I dicked with the actual throttle assembly right here. So as you guys can see the coil actually goes and fits right in there perfectly um but right here as you can see this actually this part right here is supposed to come out and kind of cover this area a little bit and then it goes all the way around so this whole area would be blocked by this whole throttle assembly mount right here um and I just went and just completely just cut that off with the angle grinder so the bolt there's still like enough material for the bolt to mount onto right there but all the other garbage unnecessary mounting plate that was right there I just went and cut off because it's not needed and also if you cut it off then your spark plug wire, wire will actually fit perfectly because if you don't cut it off it's not gonna be able to fit the way it is and then what I did is I just zip tied my little breather tube to the spark plug so it kinda holds itself away from everything and then also as you see I had to cut my side cover out a little bit um, because just the way that this kind of comes out you have to cut it so it will clear it and when you're riding it's not going to just constantly be rubbing on the side cover and cut it and also I went and just painted the whole throttle assembly black because I think it looks a lot better painted black but I really hope this video went and actually helped you guys uh, with replacing your spark plug coil or upgrading it to the one that I got like I said I'll link it in the description the one I got and also the guys website um, so make sure you guys go check that out and yeah it, it starts up right away and the gapping of it seems to be perfect so let me know um, if you guys have any questions just comment them down below I'll answer them and also it's definitely worth getting the spark plug coil this thing usually only goes 40 miles an hour but I pushed it and I got 43 so it's definitely the spark plug coil that did the difference because like red line was 40 and I got it to go 43 uphill so 
that's pretty dang good and it's definitely worth the 30 bucks and then also you get your custom colored cables that you can or uh, the custom color wires I mean um, that you can get for your mini bike so it can match like your red accents or your blue accents whatever you have on your mini bike so um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe and peace